welcome to Miss Kathy's Talks. Super excited to see you today, and I can't wait to see you again. Well, today I have a little magic trick, and um, I think this magic trick is really a great way of showing how God can do anything. Um, you know, when we're stuck at home and we're missing friends and um, we don't understand why things are going on, it can be kind of confusing to us. But this is the cool thing about having a relationship with God, is that God's in control. He's got us. He's, he's here to protect us. And um, we can just go to Him. And then I think we'll look back after this time is over and think to ourselves, wow, God did a lot of cool things, even when we were stuck in our houses for so long. So I have a bag here. And if, I, if you'll notice, this bag is completely empty. And I need my daughter Annie to come up here. Annie, mm -hmm. do you see anything in my bag? Nope. Okay. Now, so we know that with... Stay up here, Annie. I'm going to shock and amaze you. All right. We know that with God, things that look like it's not possible are really possible. So I'm going to reach in here, and I don't know, uh, do you think I'm going to be able to pull out anything in my bag? No, because there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Because Miss Kathy is going to pull out a little box of flowers for you. For you, sweetie. I love you. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Did you say this bag is empty? Yeah. Empty? I got another present for you. Okay. I hope you like it. I mean, were you kind of shocked that something came out of that one? Mm-hmm. Well, I have another gift for you. You know how much I love you. And I don't think one box of flowers is enough. Miss Kathy wants to give you two boxes of flowers. Or your mom does. <laughs> oh, Thanks. You're welcome. But hold on. Do you think this... I mean, you've been wrong. <laughs> you that said there was empty. All right. That's empty. All right. All right. Well, sometimes we don't see a lot of great things that are out there um, when really God has given us a lot of great things. We just don't always realize it till we see it later. Like, your mom has another box of flowers for you. Wow, thank you, Mom. You put those up in your room. I love you. Okay, I love you too. See, sometimes mm -hmm, uh, we seem like what good can come out of being stuck in our houses? And then later on we'll be discovered that even though some things look like nothing was going on and nothing great happened, instead there was a lot that God did for us. He just didn't even know it. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for doing the um, impossible when sometimes we don't see why things are happening. We love you. Amen. Well, Chester, come here, Chessie. You've got a verse for us today? Here we go. Oh, one of my favorites. Matthew 19, 26. And Jesus was saying this to people. With man, it is impossible but with God, all things are possible. Awesome. Now, you know Miss Kathy isn't really magic. It was a trick. Someday I'll show you how to do it. Opie, it's time for a verse. Opie's hiding in our volcano. Where are you, Opie? Come here, you silly kitty. Come here, you silly kitty. Uh oh. You want to say hi to the kid? Say hi. Okay, let me see what verse you had for the day. What kind of tree can you fit in your hand? I couldn't fit any kind of tree in my hand. Oh, a palm tree. Palm? <laughs> oh, that's great. Opie, you had the best. Now it's time to spin the wheel. Oh, I hope we don't get another thrill of victory like we have. All right, here we go. It is a... Ten? Is 
that a 10? Mud pie for Miss Kathy? I gotta follow what the wheel told me to do. So when the mud pie gets here, I'm gonna take my glasses off. It's gonna go in the face. The things I do for you, you know I love you. All right. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it looks very muddy. I hope there's no worms in it. All right. Bring me this mud pie. This is for you, kids. I love you.